God blessed her to give birth to Samson, and according to the record, God equipped and blessed Samson with a unique gift and a most unique ability. God so blessed Israel with Samson during this critical period when Israel's morale was at an all-time low. But God knows just when to send a blessing your way. He steps in, the songwriter said, just when I need him most. It was a dark time in Israel's history, for God was whipping Israel with an issue. He was using a nation known as the Philistines, and God used those people as a rod in his hand to whip his disobedient children, the children of Israel. And you do know sometimes God will use your enemies to chastise you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes God will use your enemy to whip up on you. And he'll use circumstances just to get you closer to him. And so the record tells us that Israel, they needed a deliverer. For the Philistines were great. They inflicted harm and pain upon Israel. And at any time, they needed a ray of sunshine, and Samson enters the picture. Yeah. You do know the name Samson means a little sunshine. Yeah. And so appropriate was Samson's name because Israel was at a, such a dark time in their history that God would send them a little sunshine yeah. in the name of Samson. And so the record tells us that for 20 years, Samson served as judge of Israel. During that time, the Philistines continued uh, their warlike activities, continued their uh, aggressive attacks against Israel. But Israel now had a champion. Israel had Samson. Samson struck fear in the hearts of the Philistine enemies. For you see, on one occasion, Samson took the jawbone of a donkey. Now the word didn't say donkey, the word said ass on one occasion. He took the jawbone of an ass. Come on in here, Bible scholars, and slew 1,000. In the true 1,000 Philistine enemies, great was Samson. On one occasion, he caught 300 foxes and tied their tails together and set fire to their tails and set them loose in the wheat fields of the Philistines and burned up all of their grain. Great was Samson. Israel felt confident in Samson, and Samson, the record tells us, felt confident in his strength. He also learned early that the source of his strength was in the locks of his hair. From his head, there hung seven locks of hair. All of his hair was the source of the secret, if you will, of Samson. Great strength. But I want to tell you, let me caution you right here. Uh, don't put too much credit in Samson's hair. You got to look at the one who knows the number of hair that are on all our heads. It was ultimately God who was the source of Samson's strength. Are y'all praying with me? And so the ability, the strength, the gift that Samson possessed came from God. I'm going somewhere. Come on, come on with me. Whatever ability you think you have, or whatever strength you think you possess, whatever power you have right now, you better believe it came from God. God is the indispensable gift of our gifts, and He gives to every man, woman, boy, and girl the gift He desires for them to have. He gave Samson great might, He gave him great strength. Samson was strong. But the text tells us that there was in this strong personality a weakness. Hmm. The strongest of us have our weak points. Stay with me, stay with me, pray with me. The strongest and the best of us have our shortcomings. Even the strongest of the strong, there will be found some weakness. Samson had a weakness. I said Samson had a weakness. And, and Brother King is weak shared by many of Samson's gender. Come on in here, brothers. Come on in here, brother. Uh, Samson had a weakness when it came to feeling. Oh, I should the brother say that loud. Amen. Samson had a, he had a weakness when it came to women. 
He was strong. But when it came to women, he was weak. And Satan knows your weak spots. He knows where those weaknesses are, where those flaws are. And you can be the strongest person on earth. But if you got one weakness, that's all it takes. That's all it takes to bring it down. Especially if you don't possess the discipline, if you don't possess the spiritual strength to say no where no needs to be said. And I know some of you out there saying, Reverend, I, on, my, on my spiritual level, on, on a level from 1 to 10, I'm about a 9. I know you say that about yourself. But, but let me say, all it takes is that one little flow. Yeah, that will open up the gates to create enough problems if you yield to them to sink the best of us in here. Samson was strong, yet weak. And let me say this, I just need to throw this out here. A man is supposed to love a woman. I said he's supposed to. Uh-huh, yeah, he's supposed to appreciate feminine beauty, yeah. There's so, something wrong with him if he can't appreciate a woman. I mean, he ain't got no business looking at me. Come on in here. Uh, he, he's supposed to love her. And she's supposed to love him. They're supposed to be an attraction one to another. And I've come to discover that as you just made to take care of one, like she ought to be taken care of, that's a 24-hour job. Yeah, just love one. Just, just love your just love your woman. Somebody asked me, said, Brother Preacher, why, why did God change the rules? I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, you know, in the Old Testament, David had all these wives, and Solomon had all these wives, and why did he change the rules? I said, let me tell you something. I don't think God changed the rules. I, I believe God was saying a whole lot in the God of Eden because he didn't take seven or eight ribs from Adam. He could have did that, you know that? If you do know, he, he just took one rib, and he made one woman, amen? And the record tells us that he had a serious problem. Amen. Problem got him in trouble. But, but I think I ought to tell you before he fell victim to his weakness, he had already angered God. God was angry with him because he started taking credit for what he was doing. And he didn't give glory to God. Are y'all with me? I, I, I need to remind you of something. I said it during prayer time. He's a jealous God. And, and he wants the glory. He, he wants us to praise him. He wants to be exalted. He wants to be magnified. He wants to be glorified. And you better give him the glory. Amen. And Samson had started robbing God of glory. And you say, how can I rob God of glory? But God has been as good to you as you've been and you sit there like you sucking on a lemon, you robbing God of his glory. But when God has blessed you with food to eat and then you want to go out and bless somebody else, you robbing God of his glory. When you sit there acting like you deserve what you're getting and not because God is just good to you, you're robbing him of his glory. And he started robbing God of glory. But he also aroused the wrath of God because he started keeping company with this Philistine. A young Philistine woman. And the Bible says she was a harlot. Uh, she had no virtue. She was a loose woman. She had no discretion. She, she kept company with any and anybody. Anybody know anybody in here like that? So Samson saw her one day and he was attracted to her and he began to fraternize and flirt with this woman by the name of Delilah. Hmm, let me tell you who Delilah was. First of all, Delilah was a Philistine. But he was flirting with her. Now by flirting with Delilah, he was flirting with the enemy. Now, now before we talk about Samson, uh, some of y'all in here flirt with the enemy. Uh, you come in here on Sunday, you sing about how you love the Lord, but on Monday through Saturday, you flirt with the devil. Uh, I know when I get too many amen right there, but there's a danger in flirting with the enemy. There's a danger in playing with fire. Yeah, you will get burned. If, if you don't know that, if you haven't read this story, I tell you all the time, sin is going to take you further than you want to go. First of all, she was a Philistine. And you better be careful who you flirt with. You want to be careful who you fool with because folk will do one or two things. They're either going to be a blessing to you or a curse. They will either be a help to you or a hindrance. He was flirtatious with the enemy. Oh. And that aroused the wrath of God. First of all, it don't matter how pretty Delilah was. She was still the enemy. So he's 
started seeing her. The lords of the Philistine did. They, they came to at least seven of them. And they said, look, Delilah, we want you to ride and try to find out the source of this strength. And if you do, we're going to pay you. Yeah, we're we gonna, we gonna all pay you. We're gonna make you a wealthy woman. Just tell us the source of his strength. Find out where his strength lies and his incredible power that, that he possesses. The way. We can find out where the vulnerability lies. And so Samson not only flirts with the enemy, but in our text, right there in verse 19, he's now laying on the enemy's lap. Mm, not only will sin take you further than you wanted to go, but remember I said it's going to keep you longer than you want to stay. <laughs> he's, he's, on, he's in the enemy's lap, and on various occasions she tried her best to find out from Samson what the source of the strength was. And on each occasion he fooled her. He would tell her one thing, and then she would tell the Philistine, and they would come in to overtake him and surround the house, and then she would wait with him and say, the Philistine upon us and he would go out to encounter them and shake off all of them and they would quickly discover that he still had his strength. But I need to tell you something, the devil don't ever stop trying to get you. Yeah, you, you might have won a victory over him lately but don't get beside yourself. He never gives up. And so finally <laughs> she was able to find out the source of his I don't know what means she used, uh, but she no doubt uh, put on her womanly charm. Uh, we talked to Brother Deacons and trustees down through the years. And a lot of stuff, I tell them you can't go home and share with your wife. But don't you go home and <laughs> let your wife start rubbing and patting on you. And before you know it, you told all the church business. <laughs> How did she find out the source of his strength? Can I tell you how? It's simple. He talked too much. I said he talked too much. And, and you know, a lot of us got that problem. We got not real mind. We just talk too much. And not only did he talk too much, but he laid there too long. He fell asleep. And when he went to sleep, she called for someone to come in and shave the locks of his hair. And when his hair was gone, she woke him up saying, Samson, the Philistines are here. And there at the door, and just like time before, Samson jumped up and said, I'm going to shake them all, just like I've done before. But didn't I tell you, sin went on and take you further than you wanted to go and keep you longer than you wanted to stay, but it's going to cost you more than you wanted to pay. Yeah. Uh, because when he woke up, there was a little something different this time. The Lord had left him. God had left him. And the text tells us that he went out to this encounter to handle them with his strength, but it was then he realized he had no strength. The Lord had left him, and he had no idea. Mm, I want to share these little points with you, and then we go home. After the Lord left him, his ability left him. Oh, what are you saying, Reverend? You ain't nothing without the Lord. Amen. Uh, the proud and the arrogant tell them to get their head out of the cloud because if they don't, there's a great chance that God just might leave them. The Bible says seven things the Lord hates, and one is a proud person. God hates arrogance. No matter how high up you go, keep your feet on the ground. No matter how high up you go, stay stumble because the Bible says pride goes before destruction. And that's Bible talk. The text tells us when God left him, he couldn't do like he used to do. In times past, he had no problem. But now, without God, he was anything. Songwriter said, without God, I can't do nothing. Without God, my life would surely fail. Without God, my life would be rugged like a ship. 